What's up guys? It's John Musgrell from Side Hustle Experiment. Today, I am picking merch fulfilled orders. I kind of thought I'd go through my process, uh, how we're currently doing it, and kind of give you guys a little peek inside of what, how we ship the orders. It's not probably the most efficient because we're just starting this, but I kind of want to give you a look inside and how I'm currently doing it. So let's get into it. So this is kind of how it starts. This is the cart. The bottom of that is just books that have to go downstairs. But so when I come in in the morning, someone will eventually be doing this for me, but I'm trying to get the process down. I'm writing a Google doc to get it down. But I grab my computer right here. <clears throat> Sometimes I was doing it on my phone at first, but now that I want someone to do it, it's gonna be the computer. I have, let's see here, looks like 18 orders to ship out today. So basically what I do is each of my SKUs, um, trying to see here. Let me see if I can get a good shot. Well, if you can't see that, basically the SKU is, these were ones that were converted. So it was FBA MF 009. So that book right there the ticket corresponds so basically i take this cart uh these are all the merch fulfilled books and i wheel it around and i place the book face down with the ticket up and i'll show you why in a second so i'm gonna go grab some books here so let's see we got e220 so like this is let's see the e section and everything's in order. So 220, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Here it is. Then I look at the computer just to make sure that's the correct one. Boom. And I put it face down like that. Let's see another one here. We got E228. So that's like right in the same section here. <coughs> okay. Face down. Yep, that is the correct one. Uh, F110. So this is the F section. 110. Let's see, this is the correct book. Correct. Face down. Uh, G3. This is G. You can see this section is starting to sell a good bit, which is awesome. All right, place that one face down like that. And I'm gonna pick the rest of them and then I'll show you what the next part is after that. So now that I have all the books right here, they're all picked. The next part that I do is I weigh all the books because I'm gonna have to enter the weights into Amazon when I'm shipping them. So basically what I do, I'll take one book I have the scale on. So as we're going through these tickets, I forgot to mention, I use ScanLister to generate them. So scan listing, ScanLister is a listing software that you could use for FBA and Merchant Fulfilled. And for Merchant Fulfilled, they give you the option to print a ticket. So the SKU that you put, um, you could find it when you list it Merchant Fulfilled. It's been working out really well. We're just using right now Rolo labels I need to figure out how to maybe get one that has receipt paper to make it quicker. So with the label though, so what I do is I weigh it and then on the back here, I'll just write the weight. So this one is one pound. So I'm just going to put a one. This one doesn't have a paper because that was one of our early merchant fill listings. So I just grab another one, 1 1.14 for one pound, 14 ounces. And the reason I stacked them how I did face down is because how it's set up in Amazon, I know you could like manipulate it to like order date and whatever, but I like to have it in the order that I'm gonna ship it. So this book on the bottom will be shipped first. So that's why I'm going from the top, flipping it up, flipping it up. And then this book will be the first one. So I'll keep going here. This usually takes like two minutes, but it saves a ton of time later. Instead, I've, been, I've tried it like weighing it as we go, and this is definitely much quicker. 
Not used to doing this while talking. All right. One each. So, yep, this is just kind of basically go through, do this. This is super quick. Um, like I said, I've done it before where I try to like weigh it as I go. And this for me has been the quickest way. Uh, right now, it's kind of a little bit, maybe a slower process than most. It's taking me around uh, maybe about one and a half to two minutes per book to ship. And that's picked. Um, here. Uh, so yeah, I like to get that down to like a minute. This one doesn't have a ticket. And usually on the weekends we have a lot more orders. So like this would look different. Like there would just be two stacks over here. Six. And then to note, media, I always keep separately because I don't want to get in crushed. CDs and DVDs are usually more fragile, so I don't want them in the stack, so I'll just put that to the side. And all CDs I put in a poly mailer so they don't get broken. Um, <clears throat> but they weigh about three to four ounces, so no need to weigh that. So I think you get the point. I'm gonna finish up here and then we'll get back to the next step. So now that all the books are weighed like that, the cards over there, I don't need the scale anymore. The next part <laughs> is to use this card here. This is the Merge Fulfilled packing cart. So up here you have the bubble mailer, down here you have a poly bag, and here down below is like oversized envelopes. It's kind of weird to use, or kind of rare to use those. Um, it's just for really big books. These are for obviously more expensive books. I'm not shipping like a $10 book in there because that mailer is definitely more expensive. Um, I'm pretty sure I'd have to look, but I think these are about anywhere from 25 to 29 cents. These are about three cents and those are probably anywhere from 50 to 75 cents. Again, the bigger ones are more higher end books, so it does make sense to use those. But the next step is to take all these books and enter them, enter the weights into Amazon. And I'm kind of going to show you how I do that. And before I do that, um, basically how I do it, this is kind of a changing scale, but it's always working. So how I decide whether or not to, which envelope to use. So the big mailer is really just, <clears throat> for books that obviously don't fit in those other two. Again, those are gonna be higher end books uh, that make sense. The poly mailer is the one we probably use the most and that is for books that are under $15. So all books under $15 will go in that mailer and all books over $15 will go in the poly mailer. I, do, I am experimenting maybe upping that to like $18 for a poly mailer, but um, we'll see what happens. This has been working out so far. I've actually had no complaints yet, knock on wood, of using the poly mailers that the books have been damaged. I've been shipping hard covers and soft covers, so hopefully that continues and I might up that scale. The only exception to this is sometimes if a book is in acceptable condition, um, usually it is higher end, but if it's like 12 or $13, I will put in a poly mailer just to keep it protected so it doesn't get damaged anymore. And yeah, let's get these books shipped out. All right, now that we have the books all ready to go, you saw the cart, there's also a mail bin there. Um, so now it's time to go to the Manage Orders page for Seller Central. I do not trust my editing skills, so I don't think I would, well, I could probably figure out how to blur out my store name, but for now, just open your order page. So then like you'll see here, I could do it, show you now. These are kind of 
the orders and I'm gonna hit buy shipping uh, for all of these. You can do this in bulk. Uh, right now I am doing it uh, just individually one by one uh, to make sure that, because if you did a bulk and one label doesn't print, then everything would be wrong. So for right now, until I've only been doing this about uh, a month or two, heavily merchant fulfilling. So once I get maybe a better system down, uh, then I will do that. So what I will do is I'll hit buy shipping on one of them. And since the books are in order, so this one is an oversized book. So what I would do is I would select everything's usually, so my packaging is always set to medium because that's the poly bag and the bubble mailer. But since this is a larger one, I have to select large. So now this is where the ticket comes in. So now I'm gonna enter the weight. So this was one pound, 14 ounces. So as that's loading and getting a price, I'm gonna grab an envelope. Put that inside. I wanna make sure it's like as tight as possible so you can see the book goes to here. So I'm gonna rip this off. So as that's happening, I'm gonna hit buy shipping. I kinda of wanna always have this screen like going so I could do stuff. So now like before I fold it, I'm gonna hit control P to get this label going. Oops, I have the wrong printer selected. Give me one second. All right, that's the correct printer. I'm gonna hit print. And as I fold this down to make it tight like that, then the label printed, great. Then I'm just gonna stick it on like that. And then there's a, I keep a, a bin right down below me. So I just throw that in the bin, face up. So the next one here, and also as I'm going through, I'm just like checking the cover to make sure that it is correct. It's just kind of like a double check for me. This goes much faster, but obviously I'm making a video, so it's going a little slower. So I enter the weight. So as I'm entering the weight, good question. So one of the things at the top, also to show you, at the top you'll see the weight over there. Yeah, um, the weight, the price of the book. So um you'll know which mailer to put it in so this one is on the cusp it's 1454 but since it's like a soft back it's i don't see an issue doing the poly mailer and plus i'm trying to stick to the rules so i'm just going to put it in this poly mailer like that again i want to make sure it's like nice and tight so i would hit uh buy shipping as i'm like kind of folding this over now it's ready. I'd hit control P and print. Then I put this one down. I go to the next screen. I'd hit buy shipping. This is nine ounces. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then this is a good one. So this, for these, this is like small enough to put sideways in this mailer. So basically I would take this, let's see. Yeah, and I'd put it sideways like that and then slide it down and then fold it over. This way it's like nice and tight um, for that. Like that, then I'd buy the shipping for that. This is the other one. All right. So that's kind of what I will be doing. Uh, I'm gonna finish doing all of these and then I will show you the last step and kind of give you some uh, other tips and kind of we'll go from there.
So that's all the packages. They're all uh, shipped and labeled. Um, so the post office, they, my worker gave me this bin. This way, when they come, I could just slide this bin in their truck. They'll bring like a bunch for me. And then as I fill them up, I'll be like, hey, can you bring some more? And it's been working really well. Uh, the last step of this uh, is I'm gonna print a USPS end of day form. Uh, and basically I'll lay that on top over here. And when they come, they just scan that and that will say, oh, all these packages. So one scan will scan in all these packages. This way they don't have to do it individually. And then they will be off to the customers. So that's kind of the process guys. The last step would be to create an Amazon, uh, an end of day form for the post office person or to go to the post office. Basically that what that is, is basically just a form that says everything that you have shipped instead of them having to scan each one individually. If you scan that form, they check in all at the same time. I may or might not add that into this video. I did a screen recording, but I'm having trouble figuring out how to blur it. If I don't uh, look for a video, I'll figure out how to uh, kind of make one of those. But that's kind of the process I do for shipping merch fulfilled books. Again, this isn't 100% like amazing. This is how I'm currently doing it now. I've only been doing it about a month and a half. I found this to be the quickest way for me personally uh, to do this. I hope to get more efficient and do maybe like an update video about maybe things that we're doing better or things that we missed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, what are you doing? How are you merch fulfilling? Um, and I would say three quick tips. If you're doing merch fulfilled books, definitely, definitely, definitely the hardest or one of the best things you do is stay organized. Have a good system. Uh, know where your inventory is. That'd be tip two. Uh, tip one, tip number two, definitely um, take your time. If you're doing books, you don't want to like be sending people the wrong books. Or I mean, if you are do it, if you have an item that is all the same and you have you have to ship twenty of them, it doesn't really matter uh, that much because everything's the same weight, same size. You just the person will get the same item. But for books, you definitely do not want to be sending people the wrong book because if you send someone the wrong book, then someone else got the wrong book. So there's two people. So that's kind of why I'm doing it book by book right now. Eventually, if we continue doing Merch Fulfilled and doing all of this, then yes, I will start looking into, you know, shipping in bulk. I know a lot of the bigger people, um, they use ShipStation, which is something off of Amazon where you, I think you basically upload all the orders. But yeah, this is what I'm doing now. Again, only been doing this about two months. So I'm always trying to improve, always trying to learn new things here. So please like the video. Please subscribe if you found this valuable. And I'll see you guys in the next video.